Hello everybody and welcome back to Final Fantasy XII where I was trying to decide which game to play today and I just really wanted to play Final Fantasy so <laughs> that's what I'm doing. Um, we are we're doing pretty well. We need to go... oh that's right because we had to go come back into this room from that little room where the big boss fight was. I'm pretty sure the big boss fight was in this room but I wanted to save. <laughs> Look at that! It blends in really- like they've- uh, it looks like they've intentionally designed it to look like a log. Like once it died, it kind of goes back into the forest. That's really cool. And- but it doesn't like look like a dragon corpse. It looks just like a mound, but it, you know, still kind of looks like the dragon corpse. Like it merges really well. Anyway! <laughs> that's cool. I like it a lot. Um... Apparently there's- Over here? Me and maps. I'm just, I'm no good at them. So I think, I don't know, since it always is forever, since I look at anything. We need to get to Burr Almises. I can't say any of these words. Um, because of the stuff with the Nethesite that we've found. Out, how dangerous it can be, and there's like a problem. <laughs> Stole a demon eyeball. Holy, what? What? Ha! She's also got the silence spell. The cure for si silence. I almost said science. The cure for science! I do want to look at this little side corridor and see if there's anything cool down here. Ether. No, nothing cool. <laughs> Sometimes they're like, here's a map. I guess this area is probably pretty small. We'll be going into a new area. <laughs> what is... different? No! We're taking the path less traveled. Unless everybody else... Whoop! Oh, jeez. No, stay away from me. I just realized I need to bring Fran and Balthier out. And Bosh, everybody else is leveling up pretty quick. Oh, boy. Um, I was... Oh, because of the... The dragons we fought, probably. Uh... Let's take out Pinello and bring out... The Unknown East. Well, Unknown Eastern portion of the map that we're trying to get to. Ooh! It went from jungles to snow cap. Okay, snow cap rift in a mountain. That's abrupt. That That's really abrupt. It's to the northeast. You go south, you enter the rift. Take care. God's guide your path. Thanks. Oh, I was like, they're the same person, but I think they're, um, it's like a militia name, maybe? Take one step at a time and you shall reach your destination. Thank you. Oh, okay. They, so it's like, uh, kind of, I don't know, Nepal, sort of? With, like, mountains, or like, you know, at least like the the picture I have in my head is like the romanticized version of like hidden temples in the mountains kind people. Oh, nice. 
nice. Okay. But what are you guys running from? At the rift? I don't know. No, you wouldn't be a refugee from the rift because everybody knows about it, it seems like. And I want to go northeast, but I don't have a map. So, time to run around and fight snow monsters steal from the local fauna. Ugh. What is that? It's friendly apparently, but it looks like a giant onion? Or a radish? I don't know. So I'm heading due, like, nor I'm trying to go northeast to get to the location I want to go to. But potentially we'll have to go into the rift anyway. That's how it often works. Empires parade down city streets while refugees walk barefoot through the snow. And so I sue for peace, to stop short war and ease their suffering. My father will choose peace. Will he now? You sound sure of yourself. You can never know another, even your father. Oh. Is that personal experience? <laughs> Don't take it the wrong way, okay? Uh. Oh, snap! This crisis would not end were I gone. The Senate hates the very fact that House Solidor exists. By necessity, we must find reason to silence them. Necessity? Ah, yes, necessity. Does that word free you, I wonder? You show no hesitation to solve matters with blood. The sword of House Solidor cannot be left to rust in doubt. It was you, Excellency, who tempered that sword. Is this your idea of vengeance? It is my idea of necessity. Mm. If we do not act now, it is not only our future you imperil. So, you would dirty your hands to keep his clean. My hands are stained with blood. I see little reason to stay them now. Okay, that's not a good reason at all. <laughs> I've already murdered. So they are. And so, how solid all lives so I'll on. So just keep murdering. <laughs> Can't stop now. Oh snap! Dad might be choosing to go down the route of blood before we can even get there. What's even the point? It's just to consolidate their own power. It's not to help anybody else. <laughs> Why are they poisonous? No. Oh well, we leveled up just in just in time for him to get act like poisoned to death. Yeah, you're a little late with that, bud. Let's see, do we have no? Let's just bring him back. Wow, you are much taller than him.
I'm bringing Bosch out now, now that, um, Vaughn's leveled up to 23, Bash is 22. Holy, holy, I did not, wow, okay. Ready's what? Ready's what? Uh, uh holy cow. If it was gonna last any longer, I would use a silent spell on it. Anyway, sorry, I'm just running around. Gonna not chatter everybody's ears off. Oh, legit though, like what a terrible reason. It's like, maybe you can't atone for what you've done in the past, you know? And maybe that's like the, the key difference here between like, a, a, like Bosch, who was kind of supposed to be the main character, and um, the main, that villain guy with the long hair, his name I can't remember. Lars's brother, um, but, you know, whereas that guy apparently sees no need to like change the way he does things, despite, you know, putting innocent people and maybe, you know, just people in general at risk. Whereas Bosch is like, yeah, I can't make up for what happened, you know, but I'm not, I'm not gonna make those same mistakes. Whereas the other guy, Lars's brother, is like, yeah, so I already, uh, I've already got my hands covered in blood, so uh, what's the point in stopping now? It's like, I don't think you understand. Like, self-improvement. <laughs> like, get a self-help book. <laughs> oh, we should go, nope. We need to go northeast. Nary to the south. This is so steep. Like, holy cow. To the northeast. Give me cutscenes. I right, eat those for breakfast. Okay, there's greenery now. The geography of this world. Geology, rather. Look at that. Floating rocks. The ecology. <laughs> Things are in places I wouldn't expect. The Grand Kil Kil Kiltias Anastasis. Ha <laughs> ha. Watches over all. Can you not feel your soul's burdens lifted? I wish. I, well, apparent. I don't think I have to, but, you know, you never know. Let's sell that. Recurve crossbow. I have yet to figure out how to, um, <laughs> use the guilt measure things for freaking, what's his name? Balthier. figure out where these people are from and they might just be from everywhere this is like their last resort I guess what makes this place so safe though just like how far away it is like how how remote it is and how hard to get to they're like no we ain't interested taking that place over. Whoa! They're like Chocobos, but more like oxen. This is nice. Is it too high for snow, maybe, up here? Like a high desert kind of area? Sierra named Relj. I've heard her kind was frigid, but that one's made of ice. Oh boy, okay, that's good to know. 
You what? Oh, I, I jest, potentially? <laughs> we know no Viera would allow a human to pass through their wood. How did you guys get here? It's like a meal tent. They don't feed you up there. Only down here. Well, uh, in we go. I see no reason to delay further. This is such a sweeping game. Like, the vistas are just so massive really well designed, like really beautifully designed, you know? Oh, hello! I couldn't see you because my camera was in a weird angle. Uh, yeah. Pilgrimage? Okay. I'm not really necessarily here same reason. Arcadian Wayfair. It came by ship, but the view from here was worth the long journey. I'm no believer, but the place is impressive. Yeah, I guess you would get touristy types here, too. If only one could magic foodstuffs. I don't think I've seen anything that looks like you. You look like the creatures from the Dark Crystal, like the good, the good guy versions. Well, no, kind of the bad guy versions, too, I guess. Great sky continent. They bleed power, robbing airships of their buoyancy. Oh. Is that why? I just accepted that there was floating rocks, but I guess them being part of a sky continent that crashed it also makes sense. I don't know if I want to build near them. would be impressive. Are we moving or is it the clouds moving? That's kind of like, woo. See, what a pretty game. I wish you could see the buildings a bit better, but alas, I'll be stuck with Vaughn's face instead. There we go. That's a nice view of the architecture. Kind of. You get, you get him in the sweeping, you know, views. I mean, refugees are maybe just a, uh, like a herald of, you know, problems to come. Like, they write not the refugees themselves, but like the problems they are fleeing from will often follow. At least in this situation, I feel like. Especially with like, so people so c concerned with like, military power. They're gonna look at all these refugees flooding here and be like, they're gonna make an army! And they're like, no, we just wanna- we just wanna live. We just wanna be alive and left alone. Please stop. <laughs> hmm. Anything? Any protocol? There's a dream sage. I've known of, he's known of my coming for some time. This is beautiful, like a lotus pond? Whoa. Oh, this is actually so cool. I love it so much. I was like, if Vaughn's in front, I'm gonna scream. There's at least seven people who rank above him in this party. <laughs> These two specifically. Also, they're the ones who specifically wanted to come here for the. Oh, they're trying to do that peace. Is he sleeping? The peace. No, my Whoa. child. Whoa. I do not sleep. The peace brokering thing. I dream. For reality and illusion are a duality. 
two parts of a whole. I didn't find the Viera. Only the mirror of dreams reflects what is true. Anastasis, your grace. I am Ashelia. Lay down your words. Ashelia, daughter of Ramanas. I have dreamt your dream. Who better to carry on the Dalmascan line than she who bears the Dawn Shard? Your dream of a kingdom restored is known to me. Grand Kiltius, then give us your blessing. Grant the Lady Ash her accession to the... I do not suppose this is something you might reconsider. Hmm? My little Emperor in waiting. You called and I have come. <sighs> this is the man I wanted you to meet. Believe it or not, he is a member of the noble house Margrace, rulers of the Rosarian Empire. I am but one of very, very many. Try as I might, I could not stop this war alone. <laughs> Thus, I came seeking Lars's assistance. Uh. <laughs> oh, God. I'll seat Margrace at your service. To think I stand before the Lady Ash, it is truly an honor. <sighs> I see it is true after all. Uh, stunning is Dalmasca's desert bloom. <sighs> in Arcadia, Larsa. In Rosaria, Al Cid. They dream not of war. Should Empire join with Empire, the way will open for a new Ivelis in our time. <laughs> Grand Kiltius, you speak much of dreams, but in the real world, war is upon us. Grand Kiltius, I was told my coming here would prevent this war. I was to assume my father's throne and announce the restoration of Dalmasca, treat with the Empire for peace, and persuade the Resistance to stay their hand. I have not come all this way to be asked to reconsider. A word from you and the resistance would stop cold, and Rosario's pretext for joining the war scattered off to the four winds. This was what we had hoped. Alas, circumstances change. A full two years have passed since your reported death. Were it to become known you are still alive, I fear it could only worsen Again? our current situation. Again? Because I am powerless to help. Uh, nay, in fact, it has little to do with you. Then what? If Lady Ash were to extend her hand in friendship, perhaps I could then persuade the Emperor. Perhaps? His Excellency will solve things peacefully. The Emperor Gram is his no What? He's lost. <gasps> Father. Oh my gosh, was this brother's plan all along? Was that what they were talking about in code? Was that he was gonna take Grammis's life? What possible cause could we have to lay hand on our empire? Oh, oh our yeah, yeah, yeah. The Senate will not stand oh, for this. my gosh. He's blaming the Emperor's A death. A viper amongst our senators. The oh. Gregoroth as its head. With what dignity remained him, he confessed to the poisoning and passed his own sentence. A viper with many tails. Much of the Senate is culpable. We had no choice but to strip the Senate of authority and assign powers of autocracy to myself until such time as order... Spare me your lies! I see the serpent coiled here before me! Trace, you speak too freely. Zargabath! Do not tell me you join in this mama's farce! With Rosaria poised to invade at any moment, our leader must have a free hand. You've just put yourself on the chopping block. The once great House Solidor is now reduced to myself and my dear brother Larsa. Surely you would not go so far. Vain Solidor! As Judge Magister and upholder of the law, I hereby place you under arrest. <gasps> you misunderstand. Vain did not make himself autocrat. It was the very Ministry of Law which you serve. Do you see it now, Drace? When you bared your sword at His Excellency, you bared your sword at the law. 
You wear the mummer's motley well, Bergen. Okay, good. That's not just a... Okay. It's not normal. Zargabath, take the Alexander. You will accompany Bergen and bring Larsa back to me. Sire. Your Excellency, Lord Larsa was placed under my charge. Oh? Perhaps you mistook your orders, then. I can see no other explanation for why you were reporting and conjecturing on my doings to my late father. Your Excellency. A hound begging for scraps at the Emperor's table. Would you serve another master, hound? You may fulfill your duty as Judge Magister before us all. Oh, snap. He is so wily. He is... She has been tried and found guilty. No, she guilty. hasn't. She really hasn't. Your Excellency, I beg you reconsider. That's not- you didn't have a trial! You didn't even say anything! beheaded her i don't know i think he tried to stab her like through the side of her armor like in the armpit where there's like a like an opening and so how solidor lives on this was intentional they planned this like freaking he came in here and was like dad you gotta die so we can blame it on the senate and then i'll have full power and be able to do whatever we needs doing oh my gosh i didn't think he was just gonna like kill his own dad let us suppose you approach the Empire with a peaceful resolution. The late Emperor Grammys would have lent you his ear, that much is certain, but we are dealing with vain Solidor. Should the Princess return, he would claim her an imposter, or to tempt the resistance into battle. Vain wants this war, that much is certain. As our ill luck would have it, the man is a military genius. The dreams have told me thus. To reveal yourself would imperil us all. I see war, and Vane's name writ bold on history's page. Arcadia's banners fly high. They are making ready for the coming war. According to our latest reports... He's so the fancy. Western Armada prepares for war, under Vane's command, no less. The newly formed 12th Fleet has already been deployed. Oh yes, the Imperial First Fleet stands ready. They'll be underway as soon as the Odin's refit is complete. And there is more. The Second Caravan Expeditionary Force is being called in to replace the missing Eighth, so there will be no gaps. The largest force ever seen! Freaking voice lines are off. And then, the Nethersite is the coup de grace. Grand Kiltius, your grace. I spoke to you of my succession. Let us put that aside. Should I become queen of Damascus now, powerless as I am, I can protect nothing. With a greater power at my disposal, perhaps then. It is the Nethersite? Of which you dream? His hair is interesting. I require something far greater. What? 
Oh. To wield power against power. Truly the words of a Hume child. I am descended from the Dynast King himself. Yeah. Uh-huh. Indeed. Then you have but one choice. Seek you the other power Wraithwall left. There's another one? Does such a thing oh, exist? Oh, nice. She doesn't know either. Journey across the Paramana of Rift. Course. To the still shrine of Miriam. There rests the gift he entrusted to the Grand Kiltius of his time. Seek it out. The Sword of Kings can cut through Nethesite. Why he would entrust the power to destroy Nethesite, the instrument of his greatness, to another and not to his own progeny, I cannot say. Awaken Hashelia Benagan and take up your sword or your dream will remain but a dream. Oh snap, this is getting good. Poor Larsa. My dream too fades into day. Oh, we're just gonna leave Larsa here? Like, oh, bro, your dad died. Bye. Sorry about that. I mean, his brother wants to pick him up. Bane wants to pick him up, but still. That seems that seems a bit rough. Seems a bit rough. Let's see, do you guys have anything else to say? Ah, he's gone to the inner sanctum. <laughs> it came as something of a shock. Oh, yeah. Your dad's dead. Plus, he's the emperor. And I, I wonder if Larsa's put together any of the pieces. Maybe that Vane had something to do with it. Like, obviously, I don't. I don't think Vane like sneakily killed his father. I think he had his father in on the plan for like for House Solidaire or whatever. It's like, ugh, which is it's just frustrating. But anyway, I think I will leave this one here. I think we have enough. We had enough cutscenes that this should be long enough. But thank you all so much for watching. This is getting really good. I'm like super mega excited about all this. Like so many political intrigues, it's fun, but I still get to beat things up. It's great. <laughs> so, thank you all so much for joining me. I appreciate it, and I hope to see you in the next one.